It all happened like I knew it would. A single drop of sauce. Flies to honey. The monsters swarmed. The rebel panicked. The carnage began. And the magisters pointed their fingers at me. Just as I'd planned. I was shackled and collared. And sent to Fort Joy. I'd come here to kill Godwoken. But instead, I became part of their story. Still a bit groggy, are we? Don't worry. The sedative will wear off soon enough. Easy now. No need to hurry. Get your bearings and report to me upstairs. So, it, it wasn't a dream after all. Junk. Junk. Junk.
animals die. Afraid to or food. Shaking her fluffy coat, the sheep eyes you balefully. Her rectangular eyes like letterboxes to the void. With one sharp hoof, she kicks you right in the shin. <laughs> Did you expect a needle? Why you're looking a bit more chipper? Yes. Did the murderer looks take like him into this room? Snugly enough. Oh, Was he all work? Here. If I do say so myself. There you are. Not too tight, I hope. The collar, I mean. Oh, not to worry. Every dog has to get used to its leash. In the meantime, your next stop will be Magister William. All passengers have to be registered in the ship's manifest, and he's the chap in charge of the logs. You'll find him on the other side of this deck, in the officer's quarters. Because we're at sea, of course, and have been for several days. Index fingers pressed to her lips, she pauses a moment to give you a scrutinizing gander. My word, you do seem a bit befuddled, don't you? Perhaps I was a bit too generous with that sedative. Oh, well, I'm sure you'll soon gather your wits. Most likely. Eventually. In the meantime, all you need to know is that we're en route to Fort Joy. A new life awaits, and if you're a particularly good boy, perhaps a cure as well. An end to source. For good. Why, for my peace of mind, of course. Why don't you try casting one of those source spells of yours? See what happens.
currents of magic surge inside you, boiling, bursting, then breaking, only to fade back into your soul like rain into the earth. My, look at the concentration on your face. All will, but no result. There you have it. See? The collar's function. It neuters you of sorts. Makes you unable to cast source. For your own peace of mind, of course. Yours and the whole world's. Good gods. There's... there's been a murder here. It seems as though there's a pattern in the blood flow. That can't be natural. A young magister stands pale and silent. Her knuckles whiten around her weapon as you pass. Behind the magister, a bloodied mass lies in a heap. Gore and limbs lie at odd angles. You can't make out a face amid the mess. There's been a murder. A sorcerer was killed by one of your own. Lucky you were busy getting your collar fitted at the time, or you'd be a suspect like the rest of them. Waters is investigating. She'll figure out who did it. Always does. Aren't you enterprising? I'll let Waters tell you now herself. Go ahead. She with the body. Ugly sight, isn't it? Burns me up this happened under our protection. We're extremely lucky no void walk and follow the source that did this. Finn didn't see it like that. He was desperate for us to help him. Two things scared the living daylights out of him. His own shadow and his own source. We'll find out who did this. Speaking of... She looks up at you with a mirthless smile. I was on duty in your room when the murder happened. You were asleep the whole time. Didn't even stir. You're one of the only indisputably innocent people on the ship. Unless you can commit murder in your sleep, of course. I thought as much. Listen, I could use someone to keep their ears open among the passengers. Sometimes they clam up in front of a uniform. Bring me a good lead, and I'll throw in a shiny gold coin for you. How about that? Not in here, it isn't. You let me know if you hear anything. Whoever did this is dangerous. Now, where did I leave my calipers? You are um, husband. Would you please tell this very charming gaggle of not at all rat like faves that I am by no accounts this loser woman, nor do I sing, in fact. I'm deathly, deathly allergical. One of us will kill our own, then picking us off one by one. How very correct you are, spouse of mine. Madame Josephine Gribbles de Peeve refuses to be confused with anyone else. What? What's so funny? Her pinched face cracks into a great grin, and she shoos the children away from her with a laugh. Yeah, okay, you found me out. Go on and git, and maybe I'll sing you something when I'm good and ready. She turns to you, dark-eyed and dirty-haired, and smiles flatly. Gotta keep ourselves entertained, haven't we? You presume right. But 
I already belong to an elite and exclusive ship gang. We play ball every day after lunch. You're too soft for it. You take care, though. Nope. Trying not to find anything out, either. Ignorance is bliss. The utterer, the better. Suddenly, her eyes cloud to an unnatural black. Greyish veins run down her face, and her mouth tightens into a cruel sneer. As quickly as they came, the clouds clear. She smiles as though no change came over her. Good luck, Chief. I'll give you that knuckle if you keep carrying on. One of us will kill our own. They're picking us off one by one. Can we just skip to the part where I reassure you and you shut up? You think me mad? Mad? No. Insufferable? Surely. What are you trying to hear, anyway? I'll tell you if you can keep it quiet long enough for me to listen. 